Colorado, first at five, attacked by a mountain lion. We are now hearing firsthand how this trail runner was able to fight off and kill that animal during the attack. Just a show of hands, uh, who all is disappointed that I'm not, in fact, Chuck Norris? <laughs> He's funny, too. This is an amazing story, truly remarkable, that even the doctors and the nurses had to ask him twice about what happened. And he says this could have happened to anyone. Our Dylan Thomas live in Fort Collins. Dylan, you have seen his injuries have healed quite a bit since that attack. Yeah, when you look at Travis Kaufman, you may think that he recently crashed his bike or that he's recovering from a bar fight. But he says, in reality, he's never been in a fist fight. The only fight he was with was with a mountain lion. For the first time since being attacked by a mountain lion. There, there was a point where I, I was concerned that I wasn't going to make it out of it. Travis Kaufman is sharing his story with the world. I ended up hearing uh, some pine needles rustle. February 4th, Kaufman was trail running Horsetooth Mountain Park west of Fort Collins when a young mountain lion jumped him. I threw my, my hands up in the air and I started shouting. It just kind of kept running and lunged at me. He vividly remembers the lion's attack started to claw at my face and neck and that's when kind of my fear response turned into more of a fight response. Running away was not an option. My right hand was still locked in its jaws. One of the cat's tooth was inside the, the kind of meat of my palm and I just felt it kind of hitting that nerve over and over again. Because of its age, Kaufman was able to overpower the cat and pin it down using his feet. He struck it with a rock, estimating it took about three minutes to suffocate the cat, releasing its clamp on his hand. I was actually kind of surprised on about the silence of it. Um, there really wasn't any growls that I was hearing. With stitches and casts healing his wounds, Kaufman said he's overwhelmed by the attention he's getting. But if he can share a learning lesson from the attack. Just to kind of fully appreciate the sights and sounds of nature, go without earbuds and if you can, go with a buddy. That's something that I will uh, be doing going forward. When asked what's next, he said he might write a pamphlet on what to do, but he has no intention on writing a book. As for now, he also tells us that he is interested to see where this will take him. Our friends with the amazing race here on CBS say he's more than qualified to go on the show. Live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. An incredible story, Dylan. Thank you. And Colorado Wildlife experts will examine the mountain lion Travis killed. Here's some pictures of the siblings of the animal. Parks and Wildlife officers relocated them.